Hey YouTube, well I promise this is going to be the last Vice video and then uh, we'll move on to different things. I just, I finished mount, mounting everything with all the new Vices and all the refurbishes. So I thought we'd just take a look at all of them together. I'm going to start with uh, my oldest one. I won't say my oldest, but uh, my biggest FPU Vice. This is uh, six inches, six inch jaw width, and uh, can't. T I don't remember what it fully opens to. Now I have these mounted just for uh, display purposes. I fully admit this vice is never gonna. As long as it's in my possession. I'm not going to be using it as a vice or for a vice. It's just for display, for looking at. Give you a nice overall of it. See really nice jaw alignment on that. It is on a swivel base, will swivel nice and smooth. And of course, grade 10 metric hardware that it's mounted with, they're M12 bolts, grade 10. Next is the smaller one. This one's four inches or a hundred millimeters. Uh, this one's painted with rust oleum verde green. Where this one, this this blue color, I really love this blue. That's uh, the hammerite dark blue color. And just give you a. quick at that one but again here we go back to the four inch model this thing is in really nice condition painted up really nice although I'm you know I'm not crazy about this color but it's really nice jaws smooth anvil on the back this one I don't know if it'll come through on this camera but if you can make that out not sure it is made next we'll move on to this uh, small Colombian 63 red arrow model this one is not mounted as you can see I don't have it bolts coming down through it but a small vise like this this is handy for uh, like putting a single carburetor in to hold it while you're working on it it's perfect for that again you got the little anvil section on the back again these are not blacksmith anvils you can't <laughs> beat the hell out of stuff on these but yeah we make it fall over should always mount it <laughs> but you know I have plenty of vices so this one doesn't need to be mounted constantly It'll hold a single carburetor great though. So that's my little Columbian 63 Red Arrow model. Next, as we take a gander around, this is my newest one, the Bison Bile 150 model. 
You can see I finally got it mounted down again. Grade 10 metric hardware. You can kind of see I redid this countertop in here. But you can see I filled the old holes with epoxy here. And then uh, I repolyurethane this entire top. There's a good look at the bison symbol. Those vices made in Poland also. Six inch or 150 millimeter jaw width. Good look. I know in my previous video the focus wasn't so great on the actual jaws. So there's a look at those. There are there are different uh, jaw inserts available for this vice tooth through the Bison Bio Company. You can see right here, I've already dinged it up a little. Uh, you know, just mounting it, dismounting it, and mounting it back up again. Again, nice, smooth, decent anvil on the back. And this is the Bison Bile. The model of this style is uh, the 1250. And uh, they're, I believe they're available in, uh, oh, I think six different jaw widths, whatever you prefer. And you can get, if you want it on a swivel base, uh, you can get that as an option. I really like this over my previous one. You know, I've said many other videos, my other vice that was mounted here for, uh, you know, 13, 14 years, it was a swivel base type. I don't know if you can kind of see that in the top. But I never once swiveled it, so... No more swivel vices as main workshop vices are needed in my situation. And then, uh, lastly, my old Colombian repainted it again. It was, like, bright blue. And I was so happy with that, uh blue hammerite on my FPU vise. I got the dark green hammerite to redo my Columbian again. So this is an old Columbian 504. And I got soft jaws in it right now because I had a motorcycle forks uh, mounted in it to remove the caps. Got really lucky when I got this one that it wasn't beat to death. So I do have some other vices on the other side. Just, you know, they haven't been refurbished yet. They're old American models, Apprentice, and then uh, old Parker as well. Won't be showing them. Again, I redid this top as well. This counter workbench. Very happy with the way this came out. Used to be some ooze on top of this and I think it turned out very well so we'll have more videos coming here a lot of special requests to redo some stuff and update some stuff and uh, as I get time we will be doing that type of stuff
So as always, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll try to get something else up here pretty soon within uh, next week or so. Thanks again.